I like Stranger Things. Guilty as charge. Now a lot of people ask me, always, always, I'll post any kind of video and all my comments are make a video about it, make a video about Stranger Things, which is valid, but also can get a little dreary on this gal because I'm like, mm, I want to maybe not only post those two things for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. But I was thinking today and I want to talk about Stranger Things season three. One of the hints that they've given us about season three is that a main cast member is going to die. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> now, this already makes me emotional and uncomfortable because I don't want anyone to die, but if I'm fully honest, I am a petty bitch and I love drama, so I am kind of excited to see someone get KO'd. Let's get into it. So, um, ones that I definitely don't think will happen, I don't think Hopper's gonna die, because if you don't have Hopper, they don't have access to, like, anything government-related, really. I don't think Joyce is gonna die, because you're, you can't kill off Winona Ryder, sorry. Um, I don't think Will is gonna die, because they need Will, and also they said that this season's gonna be pretty easy on Will, so... He's fine. I don't think Mike's gonna die because he's pretty much the main character. I don't think Lucas will die because it just makes no sense to kill him off and I feel like it would almost be cruel if he was killed off. Because like, you know, he's always like the most- like, first of all, it would be a cast of only white people. <laughs> but also, I think that his character is so, um, He's very much like the realist and he um, is very smart so I don't think he would put himself in a stupid situation like that to get himself killed. I don't think Sadie will or um, Max because you know she's new, she here. Eleven will like not die 1000%. 1000%. It's not a show if Eleven isn't there. No offense. But this leaves our other options here. Before I get into my predictions, from what we can see from what they've filmed so far, <laughs> Dustin isn't really seen a lot. <laughs> now, I don't know if that means that Dustin's gonna die, but I sure as hell hope it's not because it's so painful because I can get why they'd kill him off. <laughs> I'm gonna be real cutthroat in this video, just warning you now. I could see why they'd kill off Dustin. <laughs> he is um, like a, he will 100% get the cries and the sadness. A lot of characters really love him, so he'll tug at a lot of heartstrings. Is the kind of character that like, when he does an act of brave, like at the beginning of the show he wasn't really brave, but then he's just kind of developed into more of a brave kid. And um, I think if they kill him off, you know, it's kind of like, oh, it's his act of bravery, you know? And also, high key in the beginning of season two, they like low key foreshadowed. Like, everyone thought, like, I thought for a moment in time that Dustin was gonna die in season two because they kind of foreshadowed, like, uh, Max, like Mad Max and her relationship with the boys, where like Dustin played the video game but he got killed. But then Lucas played the video game and he got like the girl in the video game. So like maybe they're gonna do something like that. So I think we have to watch out when they start putting out teasers. We have to look out for those little foreshadowing moments because Stranger Things loves their foreshadowing moments. They really do. Like in the first season, 
Dungeons and Dragons, the whole game was literally like a foreshadowing to everyone. I talk a little bit about it in my like Luke, um, Lucas Sinclair video. But yeah, they foreshadowed season two and the beginning of season two. So we have to watch out for those fir for the, that first intro card of the first season because that will show us everything we need to know about who's gonna die. Who do I want to die? Billy? No, actually, I think Billy can stick around. Just, you know, be kind of a foil for the other characters. I think he's fine. Whatever. I think Jonathan should die. Because, <laughs> first of all, it would add more angst to Will. And also, I think it would cause Will to kind of, like, buck up and be a little bit more of a hero. You know? Also... I think he's so boring and especially in season two he didn't have a purpose <laughs> he didn't have a purpose um and I didn't like him and I think he should die <sighs> I think it would be a good death if he died like you know it, it, something in like something in the respect of like saving his brother I think that would be really sweet and it would be like a kind of tear jerking moment. I think that would be really nice. I think, I don't think they'd kill off Nancy, not necessarily, but I think also if Jonathan died, that would give her a lot more angst and make her a lot more of a badass character. But I also think if they killed off Nancy, it's definitely a possibility but I don't think they'd do it because they don't have a lot of female characters. Like, okay, I think we could safely assume that it's going to be a, a guy. Like, it's gonna be like the white guy type of the show. We know Lucas isn't gonna die because if they kill off Lucas, they're gonna get so much backlash and everyone's gonna be like, great, this is, it's just a bunch of like white people now. Um, can't, so I propose that we kill off the most useless white boy, and that is Jonathan. I think that's a win-win situation, if I'm fully honest with you all. But who do I think they're gonna kill off? I think they're gonna kill off Steve Harrington. <laughs> you may be wondering, Claudia, why in the hell would they kill off Steve Harrington? He's a dad, everyone loves him. I love Steve Harrington. I wish he was my dad. <laughs> um, no. I think they're gonna kill off Steve Harrington because it makes the most sense. In the first season, he was a dick. And then in the second season, he like, learned to be a nice, compassionate individual and <sighs> was very caring for the, uh, for the party. And I think he's gonna die in some way of, um, of like, ha put, like helping himself for the party. Will it make me cry endlessly? Probably. But I think that would work really well. But also I don't want to say it because if I say it, it will be true and I don't want Steve Harrington to die. So in conclusion of this short ass video, I think S Steve Harrington, I think the, po the probabilities of characters who are gonna die I want Jonathan to die, but I think either Dustin or Steve are going to be the ones to die. I just really don't want them to kill off Dustin, though. If you kill off Dustin, no one's going to be having fun ever because they're all so goddamn emo. And I think it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't work at all. And I don't want them to kill off Dustin, but I think they might. But I wish they just would kill off Jonathan, because no one likes Jonathan.